A blessed day, dear learners. Prepare yourselves for an enriching expedition into the realm of learning, and delight with this video. In the following presentation, we will delve into the captivating realm of exploring plant propagation, air, tip, mound, and composite layering techniques in horticulture. As you engage with the content, please prioritize your safety. May a sense of divine blessings accompany you unfailingly. Welcome, one and all, to the engaging world of the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 What is the primary objective of propagation techniques like air layering, tip layering, mound layering, and composite layering in horticulture? A. Increase plant height. B. Enhance flower production. C. Reproduce plants. D. Control pest infestations. How is air layering accomplished? A. Burying the entire plant in soil. B. Cutting or wounding a stem and encouraging root formation. C. Exposing the plant to direct sunlight. D. Pruning the branches to promote growth. Which type of plants is air layering most suitable for? A. Plants with flexible branches. B. Herbaceous plants. C. Plants with thick stems, such as trees and shrubs. D. Plants with underground rhizomes. What characterizes tip layering? A. Burying the entire plant in soil. B. Cutting the stem into segments and planting them separately. C. Burying the tip of a flexible stem in soil while exposing a portion above ground. D. Encasing the stem in a layer of plastic for protection. What is the primary purpose of tip layering? A. Promoting flower production. B. Enhancing fruit quality. C. Stimulating root development in the buried tip. D. Controlling plant diseases. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point 3.
How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If yes, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. We will help you deepen your understanding through this video. Air layering, tip layering, mound layering, and composite layering are all propagation techniques used in horticulture and gardening to reproduce plants. Each method has its own specific application and involves encouraging a plant to form roots at a certain point resulting in a new, independent plant. Ang air layering, tip layering, mound layering, at composite layering ay lahat ng mga pamamaraan ng pagpaparami na ginagamit sa hortikultura at paghahalaman upang magparami ng mga halaman. Ang bawat pamamaraan ay may sariling partikular na aplikasyon at nagsasangkot ng paghikayat sa isang halaman na bumuo ng mga ugat sa isang tiyak na punto na nagre-resulta sa isang bago, independenteng halaman. Air Layering Process in air layering, a portion of a stem is undosed to form roots while still attached to the parent plant. This is often done by making a cut or a wound in the stem, treating it with a rooting hormone, and then enclosing the wounded area with moist sphagnum moss or other rooting medium. Proseso, sa air layering, ang isang bahagi ng isang tangkay ay hinihimok upang bumuo ng mga ugat habang nakadikit pa rin sa magulang na halaman. Ito ay madalas na ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng paggawa ng isang hiwa o isang sugat sa tangkay, paggamot dito ng isang rooting hormone, at pagkatapos ay ay lakip ang nasugatan na lugar na may basa-basa na sphagnum moss o iba pang rooting medium. Commonly used for, air layering is suitable for plants with thick stems and is often used for trees and shrubs. Karaniwang ginagamit para sa, ang air layering ay angkop para sa mga halaman na may makapal na tangkay at kadalasang ginagamit para sa mga puno at shrubs. Tip layering Process, tip layering involves burying the tip of a flexible stem, usually a branch, in the soil while keeping a portion of it exposed above the ground. Roots develop at the buried tip. Proseso, ang layering ng tip ay nagsasangkot ng pagbabaon sa dulo ng isang nababaluktot na tangkay, karaniwan ay isang sanga, sa lupa habang pinananatiling nakahantad ang isang bahagi nito sa ibabaw ng lupa. Ang mga ugat ay bubuo sa nakabaon na dulo. Commonly used for, tip layering is often used for plants with flexible branches and is suitable for both woody and herbaceous plants. Karaniwang ginagamit para sa, ang tip layering ay kadalasang ginagamit para sa mga halaman na may nababaluktot na mga sanga at angkop para sa parehong makahoy at maladamo ng mga halaman. Mound Layering Process, in mound layering, the entire plant or a portion of it is buried in a mound of soil. This encourages the buried sections to develop roots and, eventually, new shoots. Proseso, sa mound layering, ang buong halaman o isang bahagi nito ay ibinaon sa isang punso ng lupa. Hinihikayat nito ang mga nakabaon na seksyon na bumuo ng mga ugat at, sa kalaunan, mga bagong shoots. Commonly used for, mound layering is commonly used for plants that produce shoots from their base or for plants with soccer and growth habits. Karaniwang ginagamit para sa, mound layering ay karaniwang ginagamit para sa mga halaman na gumagawa ng mga shoots mula sa kanilang base o para sa mga halaman na may mga soccer and growth habits. Composite Layering Process, composite layering involves a combination of air layering and mound layering. It typically includes making a cut or wound in the stem, treating it with rooting hormone, and then burying the wounded area in a mound of soil. Proseso, ang composite layering ay nagsasangkot ng kombinasyon ng air layering at mound layering. Karaniwang kasama dito ang paggawa ng hiwa o sugat sa tangkay, paggamot dito gamit ang rooting hormone, at pagkatapos ay ibaon ang nasugatang bahagi sa isang punso ng lupa. Commonly used for, composite layering is often used for plants that may be difficult to propagate using just one method. It can be especially effective for plants with woody stems. Karaniwang ginagamit para sa, ang composite layering ay kadalasang ginagamit para sa mga halaman na maaaring mahirap paramihin gamit ang isang paraan lamang. Maaaring itong maging epektibo lalo na para sa mga halaman na may makahoy ng mga tangkay. Propagation by layering is a relatively simple and effective way to produce new plants that are genetically identical to the parent plant. The choice of layering method depends on the specific characteristics of the plant being propagated and the preferences or expertise of the gardener. Ang pagpapalaganap sa pamamagitan ng layering ay isang medyo simple at epektibong paraan upang makagawa ng mga bagong halaman na genetically identical sa parent plant. 
Ang pagpili ng paraan ng layering ay depende sa mga partikular na katangian ng halaman na pinaparami at ang mga kagustuhan o kadalubhasaan ng hardenero. What defines the process of mound layering? A. Making a cut or wound in the stem and treating it with rooting hormone. B. Burying the entire plant in a mound of soil. C. Burying a portion of the plant in a mound of soil to encourage root and shoot development. D. Enclosing the wounded area with sphagnum moss. Which plants are commonly suited for mound layering? A. Plants with thick stems. B. Plants that produce shoots from their base. C. Herbaceous plants with flexible branches. D. Succulent plants. What is the distinctive feature of composite layering? A. Burying the entire plant in soil. B. Making a cut or wound in the stem, treating it with rooting hormone, and burying it in a mound of soil. C. Exposing the plant to direct sunlight. D. Pruning the branches to promote growth. When is composite layering particularly effective? A. For plants with flexible branches. B. For plants with woody stems that are challenging to propagate using a single method. C. For succulent plants. D. For annual flowering plants. What is the common factor among air layering, tip layering, mound layering, and composite layering in terms of plant reproduction? A. Promotion of rapid growth. B. Inducing genetic mutations. C. Production of genetically identical plants. D. Resistance to pests. Which layering method is most suitable for plants with suckering growth habits? A. Air layering. B. Tip layering. C. Mound layering. D. Composite layering. What is the role of rooting hormone in the layering process? A. Enhance flower color. B. Accelerate fruit ripening. C. Stimulate root formation. D. Improve leaf structure.
In tip layering, what part of the stem is buried in the soil? A. Entire stem. B. Middle portion. C. Tip. D. Side branches. Why is composite layering considered a combination of air layering and mound layering? A. It involves burying the entire plant in soil. B. It includes making a cut or wound in the stem and burying it in a mound of soil. C. It requires exposing the plant to direct sunlight. D. It involves pruning the branches to promote growth. What is the deciding factor in choosing a layering method for plant propagation? A. Plant color. B. Gardener's experience. C. Specific characteristics of the plant. D. Current weather conditions. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point 3. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If so, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. You can review this video. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you found our teacher Lumaban self-learning video enjoyable and informative. If you gained new knowledge from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We value your feedback. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We hope to see you again in our next video. May God bless you always. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel.